23,000 kilometers, 17 countries. It's one long ride. Well, two professors from the National University of Singapore will attempt to bike from Singapore to Sweden next year to raise awareness for breast cancer. Uh, they're starting from Singapore and they're going to pass through Asia. Uh, they'll make stops in countries like Thailand and China before going on to Europe. And they're also funding everything on their own. Now, through their journey, they hope to raise money to fund research. Our breast cancer makes up nearly 30% of all cancers diagnosed in Singapore. It's also the most common cause of cancer death in women here. And so both of the writers are here in studio today, Associate Professors Michael Hartman and Philip Yao. So, gentlemen, thank you very much for coming today. Thank you very so, much. So, uh, very ambitious plans. I mean, this, this uh, journey must have a great story behind it. So, tell us, how did the idea come about? Well, I mean, I can start. Uh, I'm a new Singaporean. I've been here for five years. Uh, and after having come from Stockholm, from Karolinska, I've been there for about six months. I saw more advanced breast cancer than I'd done in Karolinska in 10 years. So I figured, I spoke to Philip, and we decided this doesn't have to be like this. Yeah. So um, tell us a bit more about breast cancer. A little bit of research. Apparently, there are more breast cancer deaths in Asia uh, than in Europe and in the US. So yeah. why is this a uh, large number? And in what ways is Asia lagging behind? Well, I think the main thing that's driving the mortality, the death rate going up, is that it's actually become very much more common than before. So that for a woman in our generation, the risk of breast cancer is double a woman in the previous generation. And our daughters will probably have doubled that risk as well. So the prevalence is going up. The chances of getting breast cancer is going up. And what our study shows is that the women just aren't coming as early as they should. So through this journey, this long ride you're taking, you hope to get people to sit up and pay attention and, and be more aware of what's going on. Well, I think we're, we're trying to do something a little bit outlandish. Uh, <laughs> and, and by doing that, maybe we can just trigger women to be a little bit more aware. Okay. Um, I, I think that's basically it. Okay, so tell us about the route. How do you guys come up with it? We'll, we'll bring up a map on the screen very soon. So from Singapore to Sweden, how did you plan uh, you know, each stop along the way? Well, there were a couple of considerations. One good thing is that he's from Sweden, I'm from Singapore. So we thought riding from Singapore to Sweden Makes sense. Uh, yeah, make, makes a bit of sense, <laughs> you know. And also, we're riding pretty much across the Asian mainland. And in so doing, we're actually seeing the full spectrum of breast cancer across this whole, whole place. And what we will experience will go uh, down into record as to the full spectrum of what Asian breast cancer presents, what problems they have, and how different cancer centers take care of them. So there are certain places along the, pla uh, the route where we are stopping. Okay. And uh, that will help uh, record what the experience is like as well. So, so what are you guys going to do when, when you stop at certain places along the way? You're going to talk to talk to people, hold seminars, stuff I like that? I think it depends on. I think uh, it's sort of a bilateral experience. I think it's both us, uh, or mainly us, trying to learn from them. So, so yeah. how, how do they solve it uh, in a low resource setting? Uh, how do yeah. the patients react? Uh, how do the doctors work? And if they want to learn a little bit about what we do, fine. Yeah. Uh, but mainly, I think, us learning from them. Yeah, we're, we're listening more than telling. Okay. Yeah, I think that's the thing. We're listening more than telling. Now, you've given yourselves uh, four months mm. yeah. to cover <laughs> 17 countries. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's not, a, not the longest uh, period of time. Uh, we're a bit of time optimists. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we're doing this entirely on own annual leave because we don't want to stay away from our patients any longer than we have to. Okay. So it's essentially three years annual leave all wrapped up at, and, and taken at once. And anything beyond that, we wouldn't feel comfortable with. So uh, we have colleagues covering for us during our absence, of course. But, okay. you know, that, that, that puts time constraints on the trip. Okay, funds are being raised for the Asian Breast Cancer Research Fund. Uh, that will go towards what specific areas? Well, I think the first thing we should say is that it doesn't go towards any payment of this trip. Okay. The entire itinerary, the equipment, the hotel stays, the fuel, that's just us. But uh, whatever, every cent you give is going to go to a breast cancer research fund, and that's going to research different parts of Asian breast cancer. They'll be administered by the NUS Endowment Fund. All right, some questions for you now from our Facebook viewers, because we put it up there. We told them what you were doing, and uh, mm. lots of people were excited about it. So this one is from Kake. He says, uh, okay. if, are you taking sabbatical leave no. to go on this trip? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> no, we're taking no pay leave. No, no, we're not taking. It's yeah. annual leave. Yeah, well, annual we're taking, leave. yeah, I mean, it's just annual leave accumulated over three years. Yeah. 
Okay. Uh, so there's no special arrangement. Yeah. It's just uh, leave this. It's actually due. pretty bad that we haven't yeah. taken yeah. Yeah. leave yeah. for yeah, three yeah, years. All right, next question. Now, Benson wants to know how you guys are coming back to Singapore from Sweden. Are we're you biking back? all the way back? We're coming back. We're coming back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we're, we're yeah. getting on a plane okay. and, and it's coming back. Yeah. Okay, okay. One last question from me. Uh, you know, what are you going to do with your bikes? You, you tend to sell them to raise funds? Are you going to keep them? Uh, if there's anything left of them, we haven't thought of it. Yeah. I, I wouldn't mind selling it, actually. Yeah. Uh, Not many people might want to buy it. I mean, it would have done 23,000 kilometers. So, you know. All right, thank you very much for coming in. It's a pleasure speaking to you thank guys. Thank you for having me. Good luck. So we yeah. wish Michael and Philip all the best. Yeah. Uh, two surgeons uh, riding bikes to raise awareness for breast cancer. They leave Singapore March 21st next year. And more information on the website on your screen right there.